We have some new details on a recent copper theft at the Union Printers home in Colorado Springs. Today, we're learning from court papers that evidence suggests the criminals have been going back to the 130 year old building repeatedly to pull out metal. We told you Anthony Hazard, shown here, is one of the three suspects. The other two, Angela Wallace and Daryl Oliver Jr. Police say they don't have mug shots for those two. 11 News reporter Melissa Henry is live at the Union Printer's home. Melissa, you have those court papers for this case in your hands. According to these papers, the Colorado Springs Police Department's K-9 unit just happened to be doing training here one day last week when officers saw bundled and stacked copper pipes in an underground tunnel that leads out of the Union Printer's home. Those officers also saw an electric panel had been pried open and copper wires cut out. They also saw a shopping cart was nearby with copper materials in it. That shopping cart had been moved later in the day when police went to check back on it. No suspects were found then. According to the arrest papers, the next day, a maintenance worker called 911 when he saw people inside cutting metal. The suspects came out carrying duffel bags and ran when they saw police. One detective who investigates metal crimes tells me copper theft in the city is down recently, but it's still something criminals regularly steal. Generally speaking, the folks that, that we're seeing that are actually stealing or, or uh, the copper or the wire they are transient folks, and that's their source of income. Police say the total cost of damage and taken materials was about a quarter of a million dollars. Now, to put that in perspective, today's market value of copper is just under $4 per pound. That's potentially thousands of pounds of copper that could have been taken. Live in Colorado Springs, Melissa Henry, KKTV, 11 News. That's a lot of copper. All right, Melissa, thank you. New